Delta. One little jab in the arm and even a hopeless underperformer can be employee of the month. Or oh, you should know. Look around. Is any of this familiar? The Rapture consumer is indebted to you, my boy. We ironed kink after kink out of our domestic plasmid line on you right here. Well, let's see if you're staying competitive. Step on up and take the spotlight. Ladies and gentlemen, Fontaine Futuristics invites you to shed your skepticism, evolve your expectations, and dissolve your doubt as we unveil the revolutionary power of our home defense plasmid series. May I have a volunteer from the audience? Come now, don't be shy. How about you, sir? No, he's positively rigid. You, Mark, at the back. Oh, come on down. Let's give it a hand, folks. <laughs> Only a single volunteer? Oh, come now, gentlemen. She'll be awfully nervous up here all alone. Come on down, all of you. Delta, it looks like you've upstaged a fellow demonstrator and he's here to steal the show. What will Delta do now, folks? <laughs> Still a winner, Delta. The tour was never the same without you. And you think you were so spliced you couldn't stand when we stuffed you into that getup. The Fontaine family retirement plan suits you to a team, my boy. I designed that. Device, Delta. You fumble at it like an amorous baboon!
Fontaine Futuristics. Anything is possible. The power of the gods is yours. All of our procedures are quick, painless, and safe. Gee, thanks, Doc. I feel amazing. Never felt better. Wow. Welcome to the circus of value. Ventured here in search of conquest, Delta. Fontaine, Ryan, 
And now you. But every aspiring Caesar must learn to fear the knives of his fellows. Ask yourself, what does Sinclair stand to gain in guiding you here? Agnes Day. Hello again. I must assume by now that you're willing to help end my life. In exchange, I have prepared a friendly security escort for you. Ah, now. Uh, there's a switch in here which will allow you access to the real laboratories where... where what's left of me awaits you. Please, use it.
As I recall from my time doing business with the owners, that Oxyfill station out there is just a front for a kind of hidden passage leading down below. If Lamb's hiding Eleanor from you, that's where she'll be. I'm afraid the lights in here sting my eyes terribly now. Until you arrive to deal with me, they will remain off. Please, locate the breakers and flip them, and then return here to restore power. Sophia and I knew that to create the first true utopian would come at a high cost, my friend. We needed someone to be host to all that Adam, Rapture's finest minds. A willing subject, that is to say, myself. <laughs> Whatever you may have seen inside the tank, that was indeed me. I fear the fate of Eleanor Lamb will be less physical, but no less grotesque. This tank for deep sea life is the ideal way to dispose of me. But first, you must retrieve enough adam-infused plant life to lure me out. The slugs feed on the stuff, and it's all I seem to want now. I have left a sample here, so you know what to look for. I see you out there, Delta. You want to be top man? You want to sit in the big chair? Well, come and take it. Listen, son, those override keys you've been hunting are genetically encoded. And to get to Eleanor, you're gonna need one from Alex the Great in there. First things first, we gotta pin him down, find those plants he mentioned, and lure him back out. running around the laboratories in your condition. Marching around, playing daddy, until some splicer manages to kill off their sister. And then, if the coma doesn't take them, they turn maniac. Nothing left to do but scream. Uh, no offense intended, son. We better get you to Eleanor, on the double. Your body begins to tear itself apart. 
The compulsion to find Eleanor will drive you to madness or coma. You have no claim on her. Your design was among Rapture's greatest sins. And yet, you persist. Why? <laughs>
where they bound us together, Father. Plain God, you were the only good thing that Rapture ever gave me. She was not meant to have a father, Delta. She was to be an heir to my life's work. And this is where they changed her. Bonding her to you. The child she was died in this room. to feed the fish. Head on back to Alexander's tank and put those plants in. It 
was his will to die, Delta. To serve the majority by protecting them from his lunacy. Your entire journey here is based on your refusal to do the same. You grant his request, knowing that he served the family. Rebirth, huh? Sure, you live forever, but minus your body. I like my body, kid. I don't feature the idea of my memories and personality being stored in the head of some saintly child, like just one more dusty old book in the library. with this, this bribe, this penance, this sublime, god damn you, Delta! Ah, <laughs> perfect, son. You reeled him in. Now, use that console there to take a gene sample. It should print up a genetic key automatically. You got the key to Lamb's hideout sport. Eleanor's down there. Now just head out to the Oxyfill station and use it. It is done. The sample disposal button on the... <laughs> ...panel in front of you would administer a massive jolt of electricity to the tank. More than enough to kill me. Whatever I may say to dissuade you, do not listen. The man whose voice you hear now is long gone. As my mind fades, I find my thoughts turn to the suffering that Eleanor will be made to endure. And I am overcome with pity. But I can only offer my feeble prayers. Perhaps after my death, you can do more. Now, please, I ask you to grant me peace. Goodbye, my friend, and thank you. Persephone, we're finally here. Find Eleanor, son, and fast. Her mama's got all rapture, dying to keep you two apart. As I watch you now, 
I envy your ignorance. You still believe. 